safety. It's a big thing in the workshop. If you don't feel safe doing something or you just don't feel comfortable, don't do it. You're the only person who can keep you safe. And if you don't do it, no one else can. Okay, welcome back to the shop, folks. The bowl's dry now. And uh, we're going to buff it. This is uh, a mandel that screws onto my headstock. And three buffing wheels. Buffing mops. This is the number one. This is the wheel that we put the Tripoli on. Usually run this around 800, 900. Now Tripoli does most of the heavy lifting. We just load up the wheel. And here's the bowl before we buff it. Nicely sealed. It's got four coats of linseed oil on it. Now you can see how the wheel forms. into a place like the groove there. You have to learn how how to present uh, the object to the wheel. You never want to do this, put present it this way so it can grab. You need to present it so it has a, a flat e face uh, on the leading edge of the wheel. Another thing you want to do is sort of identify a place on the bowl or object uh, where you start buffing so that you know when you've uh, gone all the way round. I just sped it up there to 900. Uh, the faster it rotates, uh, the stiffer the wheel is. It gets a little bit warm where the where the wheel is buffing it. There's a, a lot of friction there. We're starting to get uh, quite a shine, and it feels very smooth. There, we have uh, what I think is going to be a really beautiful bowl. Smooth, shiny, beautiful uh, bird's eye and uh, grain. Yeah, it's really nice. I hope the camera is, is catching this. So that was the first product, the Tripoli. And you, you need to keep uh, the products on the same wheel so you don't mix them. That's, that's the Tripoli wheel. And this is the white diamond wheel. Same thing again, but we're using uh, white diamond. And we don't need a lot of this. Just apply it on the wheel, turn the speed up. 
make the wheel stiffer to apply it. I'll turn it back down again. Now you see this wheel is uh, a little more flexible it seems. It really getting into the under undercut there. Well, I would say this was obviously made by a master turner. It's really beautiful. That's the second of the three wheels. Yeah, I uh, I show on another video how I make these mops, and uh, this is where they're a little different. You can't uh, the way they're made. You you can't get to the bolt that's in the middle because it's kind of recessed down in the material. Now, here's the, the last uh, buffing mop. This is for the wax, the Canuba wax, uh, very hard wax. And we don't need really too much of this either. If you have too much, it will smear. I'll slow it down to working speed again, about uh, 800, 900. You can see how I'm not afraid to go up uh, with a bowl, you know, anywhere near the middle because uh, I know the bolt is... Uh, recess down in, inside the material. I can't get to it. I'm not going to damage my uh, my lovely bowl on that. Wax uh, needs to be abraded, so I sped up the wheel slightly there. Well, I, I just finished it off at uh, 1100. Look at the results. Oh, it's really absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. And there you have it. That's how I make bowls. To finish the four coats of uh, boiled linseed oil. Uh, I have used tongue oil. It wasn't a lot different. Just follow the same procedure. I find once I've satisfactory sealed it and I'm happy with it, I go to the buffing as the next step. Leaves me with a nice hard wax. And uh, it's very easy, six months, a year down the road, to come back and just with the third mop, if it hasn't been uh, coated with anything or anything like that, just to touch it up you can bring it right back to this nice shiny finish there I really hope you enjoyed this